So, we will study Kali group as Dr. Brinda has uh, given a wonderful clinical uh, understanding and the PQRS of the each Kali group. But I am just sharing with uh, you in the clinical aspect how we can prescribe in our clinical condition, day to day conditions, the Kali group. So, I am going a little bit too fast in the introductory lectures and then I will give you a few insights that uh, when patient enter into our clinics, how will we perceive that this is the Kali personality and how we immediately prescribe Kali on the basis of the presentation of the persons or cases. So, uh, always we need to give a tribute to this great man. Without this man, we are not here and I am nothing out of that. So, this is our God of homeopathy, Master Samuel Hanuman, and out of this, we are here because of him. So, without this, we are not starting anything out of it. Thank you uh, for giving us a divine science, and out of that divinity, we evolve ourselves. Thank you, Master Hanuman, for the wonderful journey of our life. And I shall take blessing of my guru, my mentors. Dr. Prabhu Vijaykar sir, he is a friend, philosopher and guide to all of us and he has given a path of understanding the modern science, concept of modern science with the philosophical background what Master Hanuman has given to us. So I am going to my gurus that he has given the wonderful knowledge and I am on the stage because of my gurus. So I indebted to all the knowledge which I have incurred from Vijaykar sir and it is lifelong journey with all of us even though sir is not here but still sir is remain with us in our heart thank you sir for the wonderful sharing with us so it was a uh, kali group all the introductory part is going too much part it was potassium symbol k atomic number nine and it is ugly matters so some of the brief descriptions of the potassium we all know it is silvery white metallic alkali metallic and it has essential constitutions in the growth of the plants. So potassium never found free in the nature. All the alkali metals never found free in the nature. It has a electron outside. So it has to be bond with the other components. So it is most reactive, electron positive, apart from the lithium and the least dense known metal, soft and easily cut with the knife. It is silvery in appearance and immediately after fresh surface it is exposed. So it is mostly in explosive alkali matters. So it oxidizes rapidly into air. So it must be stored in the argons or under suitable mineral oils. It is from the alkali metals. So it decomposes in the water and it evolutions of the hydrogen. So when there is hydrogen is there, it can catch the fire easily. So it is the fiery remedy, angry remedy. The potassium itself is a delay color flame. So it usually catches fire during the reaction with the water because they hydrolyze the hydrogen ion. So we have to understand potassium in our cell. So when we understand the cell physiology and then and then we can understand how potassium works in our body. So we always have a nervous system. In the nervous system there is a two things the action potential voltage with the giant channel it is associated with the sodium potassium pump mechanism you all know it is a physiological phenomena so we have to understand Kali personality from the cell itself so potassium mostly found in the cells of the muscles tendons and the nerves why it is muscles so muscles has the capability to contractions and relaxations and it is mostly due to the nerve impulse sodium potassium channel so it can give a give rise to the action potentials impulse to the muscles and so it is mostly used in the muscles tendons and nerves so most of time we find the kali group kali group remedies having a startling so startling is some sensations but the startling is because of the over excitability of the muscles so mostly we can find startling from the noise starting during sleep starting from the any of the cause we can think of kali so potassium in the iron state is found in the higher concentrate inside the cell. Mostly when you understand the cell process. So in the cell, the potassium is inside and the sodium is outside. When the cell is in the uh, imbalanced state, the sodium goes inside and potassium goes 
outside and so this is the phenomena going constantly in the cellular environment intracellular and extracellular phases so in that case we have to understand the sodium goes inside so it would be a one of the remedy which is introverted going inside and the potassium goes outside when excited so it is mostly a extroverted kind of remedy so just to understand the cell and its phenomena we can understand the disposition of particular remedies so why call is most impatient and the fast so we have to understand why it is fast and impatient so sodium and potassium play a very important part of role in the conduction of the impulse by the nerve to the brain and from the brain to the nerve so we all know that it is an excitation process so it is it act in the sensory as well as the motor relationship so most of nerve transmit an impulse to, uh, impulse of sensation due to electrical potentials in the nerve so during the electrical potentials the all cells in the animal body it's polarized so there is a voltage difference between the cell plasma and the membrane so there is a membrane potential has been changed and when the membrane potential has been changed the mechanism of the electron from the inside to outside or outside to inside is been changed and this is what we are learning as a sodium potassium part so there are two type of the mem membrane potential it is called as a resting membrane potential so when there is a resting membrane potential it is called as a equilibrium there is a no exchange of the electrons from the outside to inside and inside to outside but when the action motor membrane potential is started so when there is a depolarization occur in the resting membrane potential something chemical changes is happening so it activate the action potential membrane potential and in that case is the sodium goes inside and potassium goes outside so this is what the phenomena happen so when the nerve is stimulated the voltage gets open the sodium rushes inside into the cell potassium escape out of the cell into extracellular fluid why it happens because in the cell it has to be maintain the electrochemical gradient that is why the sodium goes inside potassium goes outward the opening of the voltage gates can be slow or fast depending upon how fast the resting membrane potentials converted into action potential are you getting me what i am saying the very easy it's a physiological part of our first year understanding in a potassium constitutions the voltage gates are very fast to open so when they are stimulated so this gets started easily so this is what they are very fast to open thereby making them very highly reactivable and excitable so mostly they are easily excitable easily angry easily anxious these are that they have high impulsivity so all kalis are highly reactive easily excitable and the fast remedy so when you think of physiology going fast when you think of the physiological process having a fast affinity you can think of the kali okay. these are the few indications so there are also presence of the calcium barium and carbon in the extracellular fluids makes them gets open very slow thus making this constitution very slow to react to the stimulus are you getting me so first uh, cell go inside is the potassium uh, so, uh, sodium and the potassium comes out the same way calcium also there but calcium goes very slowly barium goes very slowly carbon goes very slowly but kali is very fast so from the, this basis of the physiology we can understand the calcium barium and carbon are slow timid and right sided whereas kali is a fast timid and right sided are you getting me this is a slight difference of the so again in our uh, materia medica the kali is given as the slowness and the weakness remedy so how can we understand uh, so by the physiology we can understand it is a fast remedy but uh, how can we understand that it is slow and weak remedy so what happened when the weakness in the kali is a second rate is not primary first and foremost you have to understand the primary all kali are very fast when the kali started again and again and again moves and jogs so there must be the obviously the potassium is accumulated outside the cell and that is why there is exhaustion happen the atp is consuming and the atp is used causing weakness and laxness so most of time the energy get drained and that is why the weakness is secondary in the kali there is a much anxiety much ex excessive irritability excessive anxiety excessive uh, what we call as excitability 
so this lead to the laxness looseness or uh, weakness is the kali so when we think of kalika so kalika mother is very very anxious about the children in the initial state of life but when they this anxiety goes so much so anxiety exaggerated they gives out and they suffer from the weakness so most of them the weakness associated with the sweat and that is this have the kali over excitability lead to the weakness so this kali is an integral resting housing inside every cell when the stimulated it runs out of the cells this specific nature of kali again goes through and through from the minute cell physiology to the attitudes and reactions of the mind this proves kali ka or kali group is escapist by nature you know when you think escapist by nature that means they going away from the cells they going away from the cells that cell is their environment cell is their family so most of the kali when going excitability they goes away from the family we can think of in our own material medica we can think the kali is very very orthodox family oriented very conscientious type of personality and they are very bond with the family but when you think of this physiology you can think that they goes against the family and they are very escapist we can think the kali is very very duty bound the body like or but actually it is not so when the problem drops up so the, it is the first remedy to leave the home it means the, from the cells it goes outside yeah when there is a problem so most of time we can learn that the remedy is uh, fight with the bread and butter what is the meaning of fight with the bread and butter that means when there is a problem comes it goes out okay one thing we can think company desire you treat them outrageously we have the remedy kali ka but that means complete desire for family but yet treat them outrageously that means they are when when there is a problem is arise they are forced to leave the family so this is what the phenomena is there in the so most of time what happen this is exactly opposite to the natrum mute so when there is a problem comes out natrum goes into cells so natrum goes inside and potassium goes outside so natrum is a protector and kali is a escapist so most of time we can think of the kali is extroverted against the natrum is the introvert this is what we have to understand the genetic aspect of our understanding of physiology from the cell so this is very important aspect of our uh, clinical understanding what sir has given us in practice that when can you think of the kali in the field so when the person comes to us and the whole body whose whole body talks now what do we mean the whole body talks so whole body talks means there is over excitability of everything the muscles is excitable nose is excitable they are extroverted in nature they are quarrelsome they are anguish they are anxiety easily tired these are the phenomena when you found in the patient we can think of kali you know they have their body talks they have most, most of the gestures and everything they have physicality so when you think of kali grommets there is a much of the physicality of the hands and feet so this is what the persons when they having body talks you can think of the kali now anxiety so anxiety when you think of kali there is a lot of anxiety in that so anxiety for the family anxiety for the others anxiety for the everyone again the kali is very very selfish remedy anxiety for the self okay but the anxiety 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 leading to impatience and being a timid remedy they have a very very fearful apprehension in their mind that's why they create anxiety so this is the timidity impatience and anxiety in the loop cycles okay okay when we think the persons who get easily angered so as we have seen that the potentials are uh, very very excitable so that's why when there is excitement of the things so it is easily provoked easily provoked so when a certain things is happening in the families or certain uh, excitement happen certain problem is happen they start at getting angry so these are the fast angry timid right sided anxious remedy are you getting me 
very easy to understand. So people who have less attachment and concern for their family, but more for their safety. This is very important aspect of understanding. See, when there is a problem is arise, they have to fight for the bread and butter and fight with fight for their families, fight with the families. So these are the escapist kind of personality. When there is a problem in life, they have less attachment with the family. They go out. They have less concern with the family. And they only think about their safety, their securities. Okay? So this is very important. It will differ from the Calcaria. Calcaria wants home and everything for their security. Whereas Kali goes out to home for their security and safety. Okay? Another thing is, this create there is an excessive accumulation of the water into uh, extracellular space when the Kali goes out because it also ex uh, brings the water from the cell to the out in the extracellular thread. So most of the time there is a swelling and edema into the cellular region. So this is represented at the specific phenomenon called as coffee upper eyelids. Most of the time when you find uh, clinical presentation of the upper eyelid, you directly think of cardio. Very important. So people who feel drowsy and sleepy while eating. You know why it happens? Most of the time the over excitability, over anxiety leading to the uses of ATP and finally they end with the weakness. So this is what they feel. See again, eating, eating is a process of using energy. So during energy uses, they go sleepy and they go drowsy. So when you find why eating they feel sleepy, this is so you, you know, psycho, in the psychosis, the, we get energy from the food. But in that case, it is a simple thing that when you are using more energy, you get tired of that, even though you are taking foods after eating. So most of the time when you find this kind of personality, you can think of car. People who complain of hollowness of the body, very important aspect, aspect of this is hollowness of the body. I will share you one of the my wonderful case with this uh, this hollowness of the body. So it was around the February. The patient came to me with the complaint of the uh, all the joint pain, and it was diagnosed as a chicken gunia. IgM was positive. He had taken a lot of medicine from the chicken dunya, but it cannot get relieved. So he was suffering for more than 10 to 15 days with the joint pain and everything. There is no fever. So I, on inquiring, I found the patient having a weakness. I, I found that what was the weakness. And the weakness was, it's a, he said that, sir, the weakness is not from the chicken dunya. Weakness running from last year, because last year I got suffer from the corona. And in the corona, I get affected with the 15 persons. I recovered with the corona, but after that corona, I got a lot of weakness and everything is gone. And there are a lot of treatment I took. I took heavy flu and every medicine. And recently I took the medicine for the chikungunya. And after that, what I feel that mera sharir hai na, sir, dawai, ye sab dawai khane ke baad mera sharir kukla ho gaya. That was the word of the patient. So when the person is telling like this, you have to understand, uh, this is a peculiar symptom he is telling to you, you know. So he said that, uh, my, my, my body is pura kukla ho gaya hai. So what do you mean by kukla? This is an emptiness. But actually it is not an emptiness, it is a perception at the level of mind, it is a sensation at the level of body and the mind. So I took two rubrics out of this, and one rubric was, uh, delusion, body, body part, hollow sensation of, and the second rubric I took was ailment, never well since from pneumonia. So it was a corona, but it was a pneumonia actually. So I took two rubrics, and on the basis of these two rubric, I only found one remedy is Kali Kav. I prescribed Kali Kav, and within three days, he got no pain. Everything was fine. So this is what Sir has entered into the direct entry point. When you find a person says, Mera kokla ho gaya hai, I feel emptiness inside. So this is what a Kali personality is. So this is my clinical experience that I am sharing with you. Again, 
Dr. Brinda has said there is a sensation to complain of the pulsation of the body, especially in the toes and fingertips. Very important, the sensation is very, very throbbing kind of personality. Again, we can think of the remedy. It is mostly Kali is used in the musculoskeletal systems. So muscles and the bones are affected and there is a rheumatic condition in the all Kali remedies. So you can think this uh, pulsator and pulsations all over the body, especially in the toes and fingertips. Again, when we think people who have lex fiber and the fat and obes, like all the you know, these are the people are obese. Why obese? So all initial excitability goes into laxness. Initial excitability, anxiety goes into psychosis. And in the psychosis, they become slow, weak, tired, and fat and obese. So what happens? Like all urban, they have eating aggravations. They have a sleepiness. This goes into psychosis most of the time. Sleepiness, yawning, rightly said, yawning with the headache. Very important aspect of the Kali. Palpitations, weakness, prostrations, vertigo. So when the mental level is tired, you get a headaches, vertigo, perspiration, and the back. These are all the laxness of the fiber in the psychotic people. So when you think of these symptoms, you can think of Kali. Very important aspect of Kali is the periodicity. Most of the time you can find in a clinical practice that the asthma arising at night, mostly 2 to 4 a.m. So when you find 2 to 4 a.m. aggravations at the night, especially in asthma and person sitting like this, initially we can think that asthma and you are bending forward in the arsenical. But the time modality of arsenic is about midnight. It is about 11 to 1. Okay, 12 or midnight around. But in a Kali cup it is 2 to 4. And on the basis of 2 to 4 aggravations, you can prescribe Kali cup. So this is a very important modality of the Kali cup. So entry point is a very uh, right centered remedy. Timid, startle easily, angry, oversensitive. Very important aspect is quarrelsome and antagonism with the family, against the family. Antagonism with the family, against the family. Again, he is fighting, fight for bread and butter for the family, against the family. So that is why it is antagonism with the family. So these are the few points in the... So now in the old book, we will say the Kali for the family and family for the Kali. But we have to understand this is from the point of repertory. So what we find in the repertory that the in the sympathetic state of mind the Kali goes into state of against the family. See we have read Materia Medica but in Materia Medica it is written that it is a very, very family oriented remedy. But when you go to the repertory you have a different picture of the Kali and in the different picture we have aversion to family members. So we have Kali Foss and Kali Kaap. The children abusing and insulting the families. You know, very orthodox family, but the children are very, very mischievous and abusing the family. This is Kali Ayav. Cruelty, brutality, humanity, inhumanity to her family is Kali Fos. You know, Fosphorus is very affectionate and loving every remedy. But when it goes into surplus, it is very, very cruel to the family. Okay? What was the perception of the Kali Brahm? The Kali Brahm has a perception that everybody is going to plot against her. So there is a plot against her, there is a conspiracy against her. So this conspiracy and plotting feeling is leading to the danger from the family. And that danger from the family is going to the Kali Brahm place. Why Brahm? See all the halogen has the feeling of being deceived or feeling of being betrayed from the relationship you know so that is why they have the feeling that the family is being betrayed and the family is going to against me or family is making plotting against me and that is what they feel there is a danger from the family so this is one very important aspect of Kali Brahm. mostly Kali Brahm goes into psychiatric disorders so when you find a, psycho a psychiatric a psychiatric person or psychiatric patients who are taking lot of medicine and they having a very very 
angry, quarrelsome with the family, this kind of natures, you can directly think of Kali Chandra. Irritability with the family, Kali Ferocidon, Kali Ayodhan, quarrelsome scolding, family with his or hers, there is a Kali Gaab, Kali Mule, Kali Foss. Unfeeling, hard heart with the family we face, very important subject in family. There is no feeling. So you know, the Kali goes escapist. So there is a detachment from the family. So when there is a detachment of family, there is a no feeling with the family. So it becomes unfeeling, hard hearted. Okay, this is very important. There is Kali Ayur. So most of Kali Ayur suffer from the knee. Osteoarthritis of the knee joint. So in this rubric we can find out the single out of that affections toward the family or responsible behavior. So Kali behave with the children is the impatient children with. Kali Kavi is very very impatient with the children. Indifferent apart into children, there is no, like, like opodi, ever than to take the responsibility of children. Kali is also like indifferent to the children. So if you don't have to do anything, what do you do? That is what the indifference they feel. Irritability towards the children's career, aversion to see her children from sadness when they are in the sad state. So there is a strong aversion to see the children. See, see, aversion and hatred are the two different aspects of uh, emotions. And in that emotions, when you think uh, the hatred, so the hatred is comes out of the love. So initially there is a love, love, love and that love got bitter, bitter, bitter and finally that bitterness goes into state of hatred. Okay. So this is an emotional phenomenon. And the desire, desire is a wish, desire is a wish and it is a will phenomenon. You know we have to differentiate aversion and hatred into class of the uh, mental symptoms when there is a hatred, it is a emotional symptoms. When there is an aversion, it is a will symptoms. Why? Because when there is a desire, desire is a wish, and a wish is a will. So this is a the wish goes out of the face. So when there is, initially there is a desire for families and children, they goes into separate destructions and finally land up with the aversion to see the children. So this aversion is a strong phenomena than the hatred. So this is a wheel rubric, the higher version of the hatred. So you can think of this. So aversion is very important most of time in autoimmune disorders and in a destructive security disorders, you can think of. Okay? Strong dislike. Aversion to see her children from the sadness to whom she is devotedly attached become very important. Initially it is attached devotedly. But right now there is a strong aversion. You know, you can see this kind of uh, symptoms in the many of the movies. So, Babu's ke bete ko chhod de, Surya Vansan dega, you know. So, the uh, the big king, Avita Vichyan, is devotedly attached to their children initially. But due to one phenomena, he becomes strong aversion to, Mujhe uski shakal nahi dekhni hai, mere saamne aana nahi chahi. And that is what the very important aspect of Kali. Strong aversion. They are very orthodox, very principal people. That is what is the phenomenon. It is not Pushpa, but it is Suri <laughs> So when you think of this, you can think of certain remedies. You know, Suri Are you getting me? The, now you have uh, correlated it with the, the, the big, uh, big, big. Amita Vachan, the big role, Suri Vachan, is like a Kali personality. There is a strong aversion. Even though they are devotedly attached with their children. Sirv ek galti ke liye usko ala kar diya. And that is what, what is that galti? He is not moralistic to them. Even though he is very moralistic. And this is what Kali is having to fight with the morality and immorality. That science, very duty bound. This is what Kali person. Here again, some rubric about the father. So this is a dreams being beaten by the father. Kali ka. With mothers, the children take the hand of the mother will always. This is a story symptom. 
but excessive sorrow psychotic symptom fear alone of being child wants mother to be hold her head this is psychotic symptom this clinging due to insecurity and timidity not due to an actions or the loves you know whereas when, when you think of pulsate lila there is a pure love when you think of varieta there is a no head there is a safety and security and a love when you think of selisha there is also a love but when you think of kalika there is only insecurity and safety they want that is what the thing with the friends so why i am giving you this another aspect of kali because this is a strong difference from the bookish material medica to the repertory material so in repertory material medica we can find aversion indifference towards the friends family these are the kali so aversion to friends kali pure consolations aggravations recognize does not his friends kali bro okay suspiciousness friends to kaliyas violence vehemence to his friends kaliyas so kali is the conspicuous by its absence in the rubric that shows any love affection concern respect or veneration for the family now you can understand from the repertory point of view that there is a lack of everything it is not something that we can consider that it is just the love okay but it is just what they want security so there is no affection no religion no benevolence and no duty the rubric below shows kali is to be person who is very different apathetic to the family he seems to be hard hearted cruel person then how can we the this is the family person so very important aspect of learning the kali never be a family person again we can think uh, correlate this with the another remedies so love so in the love there is a indifferent to loved ones kali force kali silketa kill desire to loved one kali prom love perversity kali mute antagonism is herself kali kaap aversion to herself kali force discontented with himself it is also kali kaap and force so this is very important aspect of asymmetric aspect of the kali there is a strong aversion aversion to answer aversion to friends aversion to family aversion to household aversion to husband aversion to society aversion to bed and even even aversion to company these are the classical indications of the autoimmune kali patient very important strong aversion towards the family friends social husband and society we can think of aversion to society we have natram kap but this is the we can think of kali kap also then okay no i have said that they wants company but company aversion to yet dread being alone agela rana dar lagta hai but fir bhi company chahiye no this is kali kap fear of being alone with the company aversion to fear of being alone this is kali prom indifferent to work with aversion to kali pure touch aversion to being cruelty being brutality to our family very important aspect of syphilis kali first so by this rubric we can think that this personality is far away from the family oriented personality okay so on the contrary they have aversion to family aversion to member of the family and relatives kali loves only himself so kali is very very selfish and okay they having they having affections but not for the others they have affection for the self so they are not a persons of affectionate or duty concerns person so we have a few glimpses of a certain remedy so in a kali cup can you find out this type of personality they are timid startling and anxious quick rapid impatient and irritable right sided chilly aggression to m to 2 pm thirsty or thirstless sensitive to touch or tickles a slight tickles is sensitive and angry aggressive argumentative and quarrelsome you can think of kali ka in short okay when you think of kali ars so when the arsenic component comes into picture we have anxiety mostly related to health so here again arsenic is there but the aggravation time is 3 am it is very peculiar to the kali chili thirsty kali which is not angry 
arsenic is more anxious rather than angry there is sadness especially about the health indifferent to family and everything so this is something like a sepia this is something like the sepia okay but a quarrelsome but a quarrelsome all kalis are quarrelsome so kali phos so most of phosphorus element and into we have learned in the biochemistry material medica the kali phos is in the component of the weakness so this is something called as worn out mental weakness so worn out businessman worn out housewife worn out school girls and boy and they having headache so bachcha aata hai subah se leke shaam tak padhai karta hai subah padhai kiya shaam ko padhai kiya tension jata hai wo karta hai thak jata hai headache hota hai we can think of criteria first but again the bachche ka behavior kaisa hai abusive insulting to the families this is kali kali phos okay worn out business mein bahut sara business karta hai शाम को आके चल जाता है एंड नॉट वरीड अबाउट एनी फैमिली मेंबर्स हेल्प ही इज ओनली कंसर्न अबाउट द बिजनेस 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 घर का सब काम करती है हाउसवाइफ सब करती है थक जाती है कमर दुखती है बट जब भी बुलाओ तो इरिटेबिलिटी टुवर्ड्स एवरीवन द मेंबर ऑफ द फैमिली दे गोट एंग्री इरिटेबल क्वारल्स विद द फैमिली दिस आर द कॉजेस फॉर सो इजीली स्टार्टल इजीली फ्राइटन इजीली स्टार्टलिंग ऑन द टच चिली थर्स्टी There is offensive discharge, the putridity discharge from the it is affections of the ENT, menses, leukorrhea, or even blood. We have seen in the biochemistry also, okay. And the consolation aggravation. This is Kali phos. The Kali brom. I said you the Kali brom is the anti-psychiatric remedy in our materia medica. Most of time Kali brom having the most is the fidgety of the hand. When you find the first line of the sir is. the all body speak so kali body is fidgety okay this is the right sided it can be hot or chilly mostly aggravations at 2 am all kali are aggravation 2 to 4 am music aggravation there is <coughs> inconstancy and there is a sex complaint indifferent sadness with again the component of kali brom is the feeling of being danger from the family the feeling of being conspiracy from the family feeling that the family is plotting against him feeling that the landlord is not giving his land and they are plotting against him these are the conspiracy feeling they have because the brom content the brom has a feeling of being betrayers okay kali bichromical the fat flabby thick neck chilly or hot mostly kali bichromical has in the stingy ropey discharge tenacious discharge is a ropey saliva and that lead to the plug sensations kali bichromic is the remedy for the rheumatism rheumatism with the gastritis rheumatism with the uh, respiratory complaint headache with the loss of vision and kali bichromic is a sympathetic concentrating point pain that is a spotty pain you can find out oxalic acid ignition and kali bichromic so spotty pain so spotty pain is very important circular puncture out ulcers so very very concentrated everything is concentrated at one point punctured out this this is circulate so you can think of this kali brom bichromical is the remedy again the causticum is a remedy from the kali group so causticum is something different kind of remedy but the, the causticum is a very very rebellious refined anarchist disposition to contradict like mercury like mercury they fight for the family they have a sympathy for the others they can be union leader of the any any company they can be union leader of the uh, society they can be a good uh, what we call as a good good cause remedy like a women empowerment uh, remedies the causticum is the remedy for the women empowerment they fight for the women empowerment these are the right sided chili thirstlet yet relieved by drinking cold very peculiar symptoms is all complaints are aggravated in three or five weather aggravated by the cloudy weather so most of the kali rheumatism uh, causticum rheumatism is better in the monsoon season whereas all hydrogenous symptoms are aggravated in the rheumatism they suffer from the wetness but in the causticum it is the clear fine weather aggravate whereas cloudy weather aggravate so most of monsoon season they are aggravated and they are very very sympathetic ardent and positive people so this is a very strong will remedy uh, 
first step. So we have go one by one in the little detail of the each and every remedy. So Kali sulf is the analog of the valsetilla. So the few difference that the it represents is the changeability of the valsetilla mood and disease, wandering symptoms, mostly the rheumatism, Kali sulf. The pain, wandering, especially limb, back, open air, emulsions, warm room, etc. These are the common features of both remedy. Timidity, frightened easily, irresolutions, indecisive, aggression from the heated being, warm room, hot drinks, aversion. These are the commonest features of the Kali, uh, Kali Sulf and Pulsatila. Evening aggravations, anxiety and complaint. But what it differs from? So in difference, the Pulsatila like sympathy. Whereas Kali does not like sympathy because there is aversion to families. They hate the sympathy. Also, element from the sympathy. Element from the sympathy. So, Pasadila has consolations, aggravations, whereas Kali self has a consolation, aggravations. Very important aspect of understanding. Pasadila is thirstless. Kali self is extremely thirsty, burning thirst with a vehement thirst. Pasadila is eating aggravations. Kali has self as eating and vision. Again, Pulsatilla never well since menopause. Kali self is never well since the pneumonia and abortions or parturition. Most of Kali are aggravated after the change of a life, parturitions, birth of the baby. Okay. Feels neglected. Only and only delusion in the Kali self is the only one delusion. And that delusion is being disgraced. Their grace has been done. So gracefulness of the Kali self is being down. They feel that their grace is gone. And the only one delusion in Kali self. No other delusion found in Kali self. Only delusion is feels she is disgraced. Whereas in Pulsatila feels she is neglected. Are you getting me? These are the two basic differences of Kali self and Pulsatila. So in nutshell, these are the uh, few points. You can go through the search book and it was given in the wonderful aspect. You cannot visualize these things. Uh, I am going a little bit uh, in a expression that the miasm of the Kali group is something that Kali Kaap can be soric, psychotic, soropsychotic, Kali Ayodhya, Kali Ars is syphilitic, Kali Brahm and Kosticum is more syphilitic, Kali Mule is psychotic, Kali Fos is psychosyphilitic and so on. So these are the few understanding of the miasmatic of the pressure. When can we think of a Kali force? When we see the persons. So all Kali having a weakness, weakness out of over excitement. So pumped out everything into that and that causes weakness. So when you think delicate school girl, the school girl having a headache, you can think of Kali force. Overburdened businessman worn out businessmen, you can think of Kali Foss, overburdened housewife with the crazy seem to drive him in a mental occupation owing to the impotency also. This is something called as they are going into state of over excitement and finally end up into tiredness. So overburdened housewife is Kali Foss. There is a brain fake especially in the Kali Foss. Kali Foss having angry one, consolations. Okay. There are some remedies which we have think of in the consolations, aggravations. Very important aspect of understanding difference is that when the person comes to us, we have to differentiate by each and every uh, rubric. So in platina also consolation, aggravation, you know the importance of platina. The platina feels that they have high ability, they have high ego and they should take care of themselves. That's why they don't want any consolation from everyone because of there is a superiority feelings. Okay. Palladium, palladium like to praise and appreciation. But when you give consolation, they feel that they are not giving me appreciation. And again that aggravates. So this is what they feel. So sepia, sepia because of his goes into state of indifferent mode. They have no, no worry about that thing. So sepia is negatively positive remedy. So she go ahead in the life in spite of the grief, vexation and would not like any emotion to come in it. Way. Because of Sepia is a three brain remedy. For more understanding, you can go to the my video in YouTube. 
you can think of sepia how can we understand sepia in beecher because the three three brain remedy so there is only so emotion is overpowered by intellect and they go into state of indifference so they don't want consolation from anyone that from your as usual over sensitiveness of that remedy and due to <coughs> that over sensitiveness they go into state of sadness and that is why they don't like pity from anybody and that is what the natrum your aggravation from the consolation arsenic arsenic consider himself as a very very sufficient many many meticulous and manage himself so they don't want anyone to console them i can manage everything because of metal carcinosin the carcinosin has introvertedness it has put into the mold by either parents or molded itself in the particular manner or not by an external influence so these are the sensitive remedy but they also aggravate the the consolation because i have molded myself why are you console me i am doing according to that i don't want, want consolation from your side so this is what carcinosin Ignatia and Silesia both are the remedy of very very conscientious and image conscious, and they are more more concerned about Ignatia is more concerned about their position, whereas Silesia is more concerned about their image. And being a conscientious remedy, they having a high ego esteem, and that is what they don't want consolation from anybody. Okay, so Ignatia is not timid; it considers itself as strong, and therefore does not require any consolation, which is contrary aggravate them. and silicia hey consolation because they have rigidity and asthma now if we go to the uh, very important aspect of the kali is the quarrel sameness you know the quarrel sameness is very important in the kali kali so they always quarrel with anybody any out of it quarrel sam is a kind of argumentativeness so almost all kalis are quarrel sam they have a strange combinations being discontented over and sensitive highly reactive over a time and reactive for the result of result into quarrelsome so they are sensitive and discontentment so discontentment and sensitivity lead to the reactions and that reaction goes into state of quarrelsome argument so we came across the people who argue a lot trying aggressively to put across their point of view we should start thinking of in terms of kali these are the kali ars kali ka kali bicromium kali iod kali pos kali mur cosin all are colors of quarrel sum remedy so when we think the person is going to argue with you even though in a clinic also they argue with you so these are the kali people so i have written one point in the kali uh, that uh, they fight for fight with the physician even though they fight with the physician they never leave the physician these are the kali patients because they want security from that physician only so in spite of very very argumentative feelings or argue, hard arguments but they never leave the physicians these are the kali people so why person quarrel very important aspect of understand so quarrel occur because of there is a discontentment because every person is having his own need and that need is including the idea his own priorities his own principles his own expectations regarding his desire and aversion and his expectations of behavior by the others so when this is not fulfilled according to their wish either the behavior of the other person either their need or either they have a priority or principle it can not be fulfilled and out of that they become discontented so what happen this need not fulfilled discontent occur and only few constitution will be able to show their discontent by the fighting so nobody else is fighting okay some may accept it some may reject it so in the rejections they fight so when they fight they appear quarrelsome and the quarrelsome comes from what are the point of view so when the quarrelsome come from the dirtiness so there is a dirtiness in the family there is a things uh, not proper so they go argue on you are not you are making mess of in this and i have to argue with that so this is what quarrelsome out of the dirtiness Quarrel, quarrel some out of a systematicness. There are certain people who they want something in the systems, or they want everything in a systematic place. But if there is a chaotic things, they become argumentative, being a disturb. So if the, some some uh, some remedies are not want to be disturbed, like a bryony, like a uh, bathberry swargaris, 
like mesarium they are sensitive to interruption so when they are sensitive to interruption they goes into state of paralysis some people being contradicted if someone is contradicted according to the, their wish is not fulfilled and that is goes into state of quarrel because there is a discontent some of being overshadowed of losing money or position certain people become cow quarrels and because of their need is not fulfilled their money is gone their position is gone and that is why they goes into quarrels and certain people become quarrels and because they don't want injustice in the family so they want justice like costicum costicum is a highly sensitive to injustice remedy so the persons who want justice either they go into discontent remedy finally goes into quarrelsum so let's see how why different quali in the quarrelsum so kalika so kalika is chilly timid impatient quarrel more at home or with the known people most of time kalika is fighting with the bread and butter they will never argue or attack stranger or outsider very important aspect. in all unknown environment they can't revolt or rebel they can do one things and end up doing something else ye karna hai aur end up doing something else so undertake many things persist in nothing okay it may be contradictory to actions or intentions or it may be antagonism with the self so you can think rubric antagonism with self kalika is there not in contradictory to intentions not in undertake many things persist in nothing but it is antagonism there are two ways out of the them on either side so this is real contradictions of you know antagonism the first quarrel of the kalika start with herself and that is what antagonistic mind at the base of quarrel you know this is very important so in antagonism of self the kali has a quarrel some with the self they are fighting with the self they go on fight with the physicians if they are not getting better after prolonged treatment again I said what is your is said is very important fight that time doctor ke paas ja ke again they come to you only these are the kalika their impatient and impetuous makes them attack the physicians why can't you give me some good medicine so that i get cure faster why other have referred to you got better i haven't any improvement you know you better cure me or else but they never leave the physician on the contrary very important they threaten you you cure me fast otherwise i will not come to your clinic again they will come to your clinic this is what kali is they will want we have one patients of psoriasis and we have prescribed kali salt and she was better with kali salt unfortunately kali salt worked for a certain period of time and this psoriasis is not cured totally so i have changed certain medicines in this case but this is what the quarrel sameness of that remedy is kali sam they will want them i am going uh, i am going to leave you uh, you have to cure me they are timid and they don't have courage to try a new doctor again they never go to another doctor they are ever going to change the quarrel sam of kali kali is associated with the digestive problem and hyperthyroidity so kali has the kali has is very sad and melancholic quiet and indifferent they are more concerned about their health Okay. and at home in their office they become indifferent they start neglecting their work and end up in argument and quarrel due to their sour temper so what is this illness is this illness curable have you ever treated such an illness before will i be completely normal again these are the questions to the physician when you found this kind of patient you can think of kali ask kali force it is a psychosomatic remedy defend makes the mind exhausted dull due to prolonged or undergone prolonged stress leading to tiredness we have a brain fat out of so overburden businessman overburden students or overburden housewife these are the and they end up with irritations and finally end up with the arguments so these are the kali the kali ayod kali ayod is very very aggressive rude autocratic strong shouting and quarrelsomeness alternate with the jesting very important aspect they are very quarrelsome but they have a justing there is three remedy quarrelsome with justing uh, kali ayod lecasis and sulfur i mean so i don't i don't know the exact the it may be lecasis or kali ayod is there sulfur may be or may not be i don't remember that rubric absolutely no inhibitions when they shout or 
5. So this is more circulating than you. Causticum. Causticum has a sensitivity to justice. They don't want injustice. That's why they quarrel. They have a sympathy for others. So that's why they become union leader. They are the positive enemy. There are Terentula who can quarrel. The Terentula quarrel because they are extremely hurried. When going out for the movies or opera, husband who are so hasty that they get ready very fast and want their wife also to be very fast. And if the wife is slow, they quarrel. Because we need to hurriedness and fastness. Nakswamika. Nakswamika can quarrel because he does not want anyone to obstruct his progress. They don't want to be obstructed. Okay. His sensitivity point is that they are the achievers and achieving is of course important to him. He does not like to be disturbed. And he gets angry when one who asks him question twice. Angry when obliged to answer. Nakswamika. Lycopodium. Lycopodium can be quarrelsome, it goes into insanity dictatorial because of they have authority. They dictate and authority to the challenge. So he has a power and he has a contradiction intolerance in the Sora. That's why they quarrel with the others. But Lycopodium cannot quarrel with the superior. They can quarrel with the Aura. Aura also can be quarrelsome when the people don't follow their, his rules and regulations. You had seen uh, the movie. Uh, Mohabate, in Mohabate Amitabh Bachchan is like this. He can be argumentative and quarrelsome when the rules and regulations cannot be followed of the Guru. -guru. So this is what they want. And when the people don't do their duties, he is very very quarrel because he is very sensitive to duties and wants everyone to be like this. Again, legacies can be quarrelsome. Very difficult to quarrel with the legacies since they have mind is too fast. Because lacus, you cannot beat lacus is verbally. Okay, so verbally they are very fast and they can quarrel with you. Okay, so they are so argumentative and argument is changed from one topic to another and putting opposite person completely in the defensive mode. So this is very, very important. Lacus is very quarrelsome. Sina, Sina is also quarrelsome really because continuous nagging, 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 and that nagging case the person got tired out of that. Nagging and mourning of which people get tired. He continues to point out people's mistake until the people feel his voice boring into his ears. It is not the explosive anger, but the discontent in them irritated others. And the tone is always complaining. So, Sina is very, very quarrelsome. Adult Sina. We have seen only a child Sina. But when you find this kind of personality <coughs> encounter in your clinic, you can think of this remedy. You know, phosphorus, phosphorus is very, very extroverted, loving, caring, affectionate. Phosphorus can go also into quarrelsomeness when they go into syphilitic state of mind. And when they are in state of mind, they become indifferent from not getting love from the what he wants. So the rubric, affectionate wants return affection. And if the, he didn't get return affection, he becomes quarrelsome and finally land up with the indifferent state of mind. They feel that the people have not understood them and not given them love and affection. And that is what they argue with the people. And finally end up in the state of indifference. Mercury, as usual, Mercury is very, very discontented remedy. In a Sura, it is very timid. We timid in childhood and he is being dominated by others, troubled and tortured by the others. And out of that, they try to fight it out, whether right or wrong by rebelling or revolting. So these are the rebellious kind of personality because so much of strong domination can lead to the change into rebel. Crocus. Crocus has a smile in the quarrel because Crocus is a drug remedy. So their moods changes suddenly. While they quarreling, they become cheerful. So you cannot understand. Sir has given one, one, one of the most important uh, case of a uh, Foreigner, he had a problem. He came to India for a certain complaint. So in a India, Indian visit, he had a, a certain complaint. Actually, he came with the wife and the complaint of the wife. So uh, during the visit of that, he is very, very cheerful, lovey-dovey, caring. He hugged the assistant of the sirs and very, very affectionate uh, towards that everyone. He can make, he can to, uh, bring a cake to all of them. A very loving kind of personality. And uh, 
her wife and they went to U US and after that uh, some problem happened to that uh, man and he had a complaint that he had a bleeding for urethra and that is because of the prostate complaint and during that state he is so much so uh, aggressive angry and he was admitted in the hospital so hospital people is trying to give lot of medicines he cannot be controlled that hemorrhage out of that there is a prostate enlargement and there is a hemorrhage from the urethra for urethra so in that case the state of mind become so much so aggressive and everything is going on and uh, at that time he said that i don't want this kind of treatment i want to treated by my doctor prabhu vijay ko sir and uh, call me doctor prabhu vijay ko i don't want this treatment this of the uh, rage angerness of the personality so suddenly they, uh, her wife called up to prabhu vijay ko and uh, he said that this is the state he had and we tried lot of medicine for this uh, Uh, hemorrhage but that hemorrhage cannot be stopped so sir to uh, two rubric out of this cheerfulness alternating with the rage and fury because when he came to the indian clinic he was so much so cheerful and vivacious and at the state of civility state he become very very rage and furious so sir to uh, cheerfulness alternate with the fury and another rubric in spite of giving lot of anti uh, hemorrhagic remedy but his hemorrhage is not stopped so hemorrhage hysterical and sir prescribe crocus sativa to the patients and that patient recover within 3 days so this is what very important as well they goes into state of quarrel in spite they are very cheerful they don't want do, do not hold a grudge against the people because they are very affectionate kind of personality like phosphorus they don't know whether they are quarreling with the people or praising you but you feel that this quick fellow is quarreling with me they don't okay so sensation of something alive in the body love for the dancing and the black mans is come from the corpus so this black mans is goes into male is a black discharge it can be a black hemorrhage <coughs> we have a hyoscyamus again the hyoscyamus is a verbal remedy inciting others quarrel some so they always <coughs> quarrel by inciting the others they take the enjoyment of all okay so he likes to play antics and attention seekers that's why they quarrel veritramal veritramal quarrel because of he has so much so high esteem he feels i am the king i am the princess and i am the biggest one i had a big ego and that ego leads to a uh, ego egotism leads to the quarrel with the people they can dominate others they can slander others okay they can criticize anyone because of that uh, ego high ego they goes into impoliteness rudeness behavior so that is what they goes into quarrel some the situation worse he become slander and go to the extent of course there are all will have desire for lemonades love for luxuries status and branded things very important aspect love for luxury branded things these are the psychotic aspect but you can ask into the arsenic when do arsenic is quarrelsome arising from the expecting everything to be very very meticulous and perfect so they are so much so fastidious about the things that's why they are quarreling this is very very extremely sensorious and critical so these are the few quarrelsome remedy last one is the cantharis so cantharis is a riotous is the word is described by the cantharis quarrelsome one of the case the sir has a case of a lady a lady has a chronic renal failure was so much so quarrelsome that she had some dispute with her sister in law who stayed on the second floor of the particular building near the market this lady go there stand below near the market and start shouting and abusing sister in law from the below and that is what the riotous ness of abusive quarrelsome this is cantharis and sir prescribed cantharis and the lady is absolutely better because this kidney is affected renal failure is okay so this end up the today's sessions of the quarrelsome remedy hope you enjoy this wonderful series of the kalis and i love sharing my experience with all of you thank you so much for the wonderful sessions we have and we have uh, remaining two sessions in the following days thank you for the wonderful day Thank you.